right, what is up guys? Of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell and uh, this week we are of course covering Predagon and uh, yeah. Huh? Hey. Okay. Jag håller på att spela in just nu. Okej. So, let's see. His team is as follows. Actually, this is clearly, like, Shedinja clearly is awesome. And also, that was my fiancé. <laughs> if anybody wonders. Um, Shedinja looks to be just about right. Um, I think we can beat it with um, Vulcan, actually. Get the Sandstream going. But besides that, it is actually somewhat problematic. And it's clearly a Sun team, so we do cover that all right with... Uh, with the Eagleith actually to kind of counter, I was just gonna say counteract it, but it's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm pairing it. Um, but ah, oh, this is not good though. Um, I feel like a sash lead with uh, my sash lead with um, Whipsy Car is gonna work right versus Flygon potentially. But besides that, like there is a lot of troubles I'm facing. And the plant dog really, really got it cut out for us. Uh, it wasn't as much RU as I think it was, but at the same time, I feel he adjusted somewhat. The Venusaur, of course, is problematic. Let's see, he starts off with Pex. So that could be um, frustrating. As um, he could lay off Toxic Spikes potentially, and uh, of course, twice as weak for him. We're gonna go for a U turn as. We'll lose nothing to it unless, unless it's Rocky Helmet. Um, I actually have no idea what he wants to try to do to push me back. But Pex is absolutely annoying for me, like naturally annoying. I um, think Dragon is able to do damage on it, but not a whole lot. So let's see. Not Rocky Helmet, please. Good. So, Black Sludge, most likely. Um, I think we can switch in Stami here. Both for Rapid Spinning, potential Toxic Spikes, but also actually getting that Meteor Beam going. Let's see, so yeah, Toxic Spikes, makes sense. So, I think we Rapid Spin here, just to get the Speed Boost. He just decides to stay in. Oh, we got a crit there, which is nice. Um, let's see, Toxic. Alright. You don't see that. Toxic and Toxic Spikes. That's kind of up there. So we go for the Meteor Beam just to start getting real damage going, really, as that combination with the Psychic should be able to push that Pokemon back somewhat. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have no idea how to parry this. Uh, I do want him to set up another layer of Toxic Spikes, actually. Yeah, that did alright. I don't think I have enough turns to um, to kind of avoid off this damage. So we go for a Psychic. And that should knock out Pex. For sure. There we go. Nice. So this should allow Ninetales to come in. Because I could save Starmie just for the damage output, and it's alright. But, uh, yeah, precisely because of Shedinia. Right? So that's, that, that makes a ton of sense. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he forces us out. We at least got, like, the huge chunk I was kind of looking for. So, we're going to send in Beagleith. And if he's smart, he just switches out here. Uh, because... Why wouldn't he? Like, I'm. There is no way I'd do anything but. Um, oh, what do you say? And there is there is no way that I'm risking go for a meteor beam because I think Shadow Claw absolutely ruins me. I have to go for Shadow Sneak, which I guess that combination would eventually that would probably knock me out. Now we get that easy play going, and 
I believe Ninetales comes in here, right? Go for that Solar Beam and... Um, I think if that happens, we just go... Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. Um, I feel like Solar Beam is like the right play to make. And do I really want to waste this? Look at this team again. Do I really want to do that play? Nine Tails, Hatterini, Flygon. Yeah, I do. I have an idea. Let's see. <laughs> he could be super aggressive, send in uh, his um, Venusaur directly. But I think this could work. He shouldn't go for Fire Blast directly, unless he's a mad lad, which luckily for us he isn't. And Solar Beam will do, like, not a whole lot, I know that. But Fire Blast will absolutely take us out, and um, I feel I lose not too much by going for Tailwind here. So he either switches out to Venusaur, um, which I think would make sense, or um, I think the easier play, if he doesn't do that, is uh, go directly for a Fire Blast, and if so, I at least have the Tailwind going, and uh, actually keeps going for Solar Beam. So right, that only means that you turn next time. He could be actually choiced. That's actually kind of interesting. We're just not scared of this matchup, which also in, in its own right makes sense. I think that could be the case, so I'm actually going to send in Gilith. Just to kind of having a weird situation. Because the power of um, Solar Beam will not be, like, there will be no, no damage anyway, so it doesn't necessarily matter. Let's see. Fire Blasting. Alright, so he's not choice slot at least. And that'll do nothing because it is a Gigalith, like, what did you expect? Um, so now I'm going to do a Force Play and bring in Southland, which has now behind it both... Um, Tailwind and Sandstorm. I expect him to switch out and I think the switch in is either Venusaur directly or Hatterini. Actually goes to Venusaur. Um, I am at least faster and I'm gonna get the facade or the tox I'm gonna get Toxic so I'm gonna get the full power facade. I really hope that helps. I am faster no matter what of course. Um, The question is whether or not like he um, sack plays it. I probably would have uh, sack played it. Or he stays in. This facade is going to absolutely ruin him. There we go. Did the crit matter? Maybe. Possibly not. I mean, it's a sweeping Venusaur. I expect it not to matter at all. And I think we win. Actually, no, we don't. He can just reset the sand or he can just reset everything. So no, we have not won just yet. Damn nine tails! If only I had a tailwind behind me. Um, should go without saying, but I don't know if uh, like that was the play. Now I think he can lock himself into solar beam, and if that if he does that, then we kind of get him into a weird situation, and we want weird. Yeah. It's gonna collect some power. Because I think I live it. And we can just take him out with an earthquake. Because it's half half power in sandstorm plus assault vest. Yeah, that that's the nom nom effect. That's what we call those. 
So there you go, Nigel's gone, Sandstrom is mine to keep, and um, Flygon and Hatterini is our opposing Pokemon's left. That crit actually kind of stinks. Though there is no way he would have taken that, but still. Now, there is an aspect to consider, and that is Flygon. Is it a Dragon Dance or Choice Golf variant? And if Hatterini comes in, does he go for a Trick Room? Um, Flygon comes in, and we are going to go for a Heavy Slam. Let's see what he decides to do. Um, goes right for an Earthquake, it's fair. Um, and I think with everything that is behind me, that is rather easy for me to go for. I, I could go for an overpowered uh, or retaliate, but facade should be plenty. Now, it could be choice cuffed, and if so, I am not sure I would speed, but I should. I really should. Come on, buddy. Buddy, Wolf. There we go, that's why I use Stalin. It might have been nerfed this generation, but Facade is still as powerful as ever. And him allowing me to break through the Toxapex was clearly the one that was kind of opening up this game wide open for me. So I didn't get the showcase I wanted with Dragon, but I absolutely got to showcase just how much Gigalith Stalin really can do to get a... And of course, stop me with Meteor Beam breaking through Toxapex. I said they're really, really just made this game a lot easier for me and I absolutely believe he thought um, resetting those toxic spikes was going to work in his favor but I think like you have to know how Southland works if it is a sand rush variant it always going to have the sod because the power output just on that Pokemon is so high and getting that done right yeah that's it's just wonderful so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this match I sure as hell did I mean I often get to showcase Southland and uh, like I said, not the part of this team, but hell, it worked. <laughs> so anyway, as always, guys, for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.